Yo, what's going on, YouTube? Card up on defense here, back to the video today. In this video, I'll be showing you guys what I think you should be using your floor setters on because I've been seeing a lot of people out there that have just been wasting their floor setters on badges that I think aren't really necessary, just don't make sense for their build. But before getting into that new channel, that sub button around road to 2,000 subscribers, be sure to like and comment as well. I really appreciate all the likes on the videos, helps get new people here, and be sure to subscribe, man. I really would appreciate that. So yeah, as you can see, these are my two floor setters I decided on, and I'm on a 7-1 in a center. Like, it's a popper and rim runner slash roller, so this is kind of just what I decided with. Precision dunker, if you don't know what that does, that's essentially just going to allow me to get more contact dunks in the paint by using the right stick. And comeback kid, in case I ever go down, if I'm playing with randoms or whatever it might be, I can at least have that if my team's struggling, I can have a boost in my shot, and that comeback kid is very good in this game. So if you were just curious what I was using, that's the two that I chose at first. And I was not really too worried about what I chose because there's still eight more seasons, so there's plenty more to go. So what I want to explain to you guys is I've been seeing some people that have like a center build and they use rebound chase or something that they use a ton as your floor. So you do not want to do that because you're going to use that like every game. So why would you want to use one of the badges that you're literally going to get anyways? So I don't know why people are doing that. So a lot of the S and A tier badges are honestly ones you probably aren't going to want to use it on because they're ones that you're going to use the most often. Like Rise Up for me personally, I might use a silver one on that because I do get it on silver at the highest. And I don't always go for contacts like that because it only activates when you get actual contact dunks under the rim without using the right stick. And I guess it does increase your frequency a little bit of regular standing dunks, but it honestly doesn't really do too much for the actual progress unless you're actually just getting a contact. So you can see like the A tier badges are here as well. Post lock was one I was considering, but I actually got it to gold and it hasn't gone down since because I put immunity on it and overdrive as well when I was testing. As you can see, I have overdrive on it right now. So it's kind of like the ones you're going to use a lot, like workhorse is one that I use a lot. Dimer never goes down. Chase down is probably a decent silver one because you're not always going to get chase downs every game. But for the most part, just don't use it on a badge. You know you're going to activate it. That's the main thing. It doesn't make sense to ever do that because they're never going to go down anyways. So you're going to want to be smart with it. Just you, I think most of you are going to probably pick B and C to your badges because those are the ones that kind of like bunny or two-step because a lot of people don't even do euro steps or hop steps. And things like that are the ones you're going to want to use it on. Whistle is another one if you don't get fouled a lot and you get a higher uh, guard up as well because it's just hard to activate. Just badges that are really difficult to activate. And because guard up is, you're not always going to shoot contested shots. That's just like a rare occasion if you play like that or if you're a guard like a pg you know you know your guard up is going to go up because you're shooting contest a little more but if you're someone who only shoots wide open shots like you're going to want to use guard up as one of your uh, floor setters but things like a movable enforcer that i use all the time my big man it's never really going to be an issue for me so like two step right now you can see that one i might put a silver on because i can't euro step every game it's very situational so badges that are situational and you're not always going to be using are the ones you're going to want to use your floor setters on don't use it on badges you know you're going to be using all the time I don't understand why people are doing this. So you can see comeback kid. I'm usually always winning the game or I just don't get to activate it like at all because I'm usually winning and things like that. So I said, hey, if I'm ever losing, I can actually have comeback kid at the highest tier. So it just makes sense. Same with spin cycle. Spin moves in general aren't very good. Same with special delivery. I mean, lobs, I haven't really been able to do too, too many because I'm a center. But that badge is pretty good. So I might eventually use a gold one on there. And mini Magician as well. You don't always shoot mid-ranges every game because it just depends on how the defense plays. So Mini Magician Silver could be a great Silver Force Setter. So just badges that you know are very situational are the best ones to pick in my opinion. Like Mini Magician, Special Delivery, Spin Cycle, Two-Step. Obviously there's more badges than just this in the game and it really depends on your play style and your build. But the things that you use a lot in your build, don't ever pick those. If you're a lockdown, don't ever pick Clamps as one of your floor setters. Just badges like those that you know are your, your main priorities. Like the S tier badges I'm saying are basically the ones you never want to touch because you're always going to be using them for the most part. Unless it's the rare occasion that's an S tier badge you don't really use much, which most of the time it's 2k. The C and B tier badges are going to be the ones that you're not really using too often. That's why they're in C and B. But yeah, special delivery is one I'm definitely going to mess with. If you guys have any questions about your specific uh, floor setters for your build let me know down below in the comments i'll try to help you guys out and give you an idea because yes it, it is a very broad topic because there's so many different builds and so many different badges in the game that it's hard to decide it's really build dependent and play style dependent so that's why i want to help you guys out if you have any questions but for me and any centers out there stick to your c and b tier badges for the most part because those are the ones that are more than likely going to be ones that you're not going to use as often and yeah that's pretty much the best way to explain it to you guys so don't be using it on your main badges you're going to be wasting it because you really can't you can't even change them too once you picked one so you gotta be really smart about it. yeah you have nine seasons so if you mess up one 
it's not a big deal so don't be too upset if you already messed up on one of your floor setters which i hope you guys did enjoy hopefully this helped some of you guys out be sure to like comment subscribe like i said hope to see you in the next one thanks for watching